Hey guys, my name is Daniel Holzman. I am a 2013 StarChefs.com rising star, and we are here at my commissary kitchen in Bushwick, Brooklyn, where I'm going to be showing you all how to make chicken and dumplings and showcasing some really cool wearing commercial kitchen equipment. Let's get cooking. Our first step is we're gonna break down the chicken and, and basically you just break it down eight ways. So you cut it just directly in half. The leg comes off. The leg comes in half. The breast goes in half. And again on the other side. The next step is gonna to be to season the chicken with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and brown it off in the pot. The advantage of induction is that it doesn't produce any unnecessary heat. So if you have fire, some of the heat escapes, whereas this, all of the heat is transferred directly into the pot, which is actually pleasant to cook in. I think that generally speaking, people don't have enough patience when it comes to the first steps. We're so excited about you know, getting the soup going that the extra five minutes in the beginning is really worthwhile. We're looking for a color kind of like that on all the chicken everywhere, ideally. While the chicken is browning, the next step is to, to uh, get the vegetables ready, um, which are gonna go into the pot next. One of the things I love about this particular food processor, it comes with all the attachments that you could need, so you don't have to like buy any extras. It, it dices and slices and juliennes, literally. I just wanna cook all the veggies, and I don't wanna be too hasty. I wanna sweat them. I'm gonna add um, some fresh thyme. And a bay leaf. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna add my, my chicken back in. I'm gonna cover it with chicken stock. Let it start to, uh, to simmer and braise. And then we're gonna go ahead and make our dumplings. I've got some all-purpose flour and uh, some medium ground cornmeal. About three parts flour to one part cornmeal. A healthy pinch of salt. Um, some freshly ground black pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of chopped parsley to my, to my dumplings. One of the things that I really love about this particular mixer is that you can keep the paddle on while you put the bowl in and then drop it down. And then you can use the pour spout to add ingredients while it's mixing. So, our chicken has been braising for 40 minutes or so and we are ready to finish the dish. Mm, it smells really good. Um, I'm gonna pull the chicken out. And the idea is I wanna pull it off the bone, so I'm just gonna let it cool on the side so that I don't burn my fingers. I'm just gonna take a um, little, they're gonna expand a little bit, but you know, depending upon what size you want, maybe half ounce dumplings. And I think that I don't want them to be too, too round or perfect. So our dumplings have been simmering for about 10 minutes and we seasoned our chicken up. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna add a little bit of, of heavy cream into the chicken broth just to give it a little bit of richness, but I don't want to add, I don't want it to be a really creamy soup, just a little bit of richness and a little bit of body. And really gently so I don't break up my dumplings, stir it in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken back in. We have proper chicken and dumplings. My name is Chef Daniel Holzman. We're here at the Meatball Shop Commissary Kitchen, and this is chicken and dumplings. Have you ever heard the song, She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain? Well, if she comes around the mountain, this is what we get to eat. <laughs>